Hello, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Yakuza Like a Dragon. Last time, we got a new job being basically a detective for a brothel. It's very interesting. This time, we're gonna go to this cafe and see what happens. That's a huge mob of people right there that we're gonna ignore. That's a lot of people. Damn. Hey, look over there. Okay. That's Nanaha. Let's get some answers out of her. I seriously doubt she'd ever admit to it. We should only interrogate her after we have proof. I say we trust the former detective on this one. I agree. Fine. Sorry, we're full right now. Oh, I'm meeting someone inside. The guy's voice sounds familiar. He's sitting down with Nanoa. Maybe she's dating him on the side. Could be. Let's try and eavesdrop on their conversation. How do we do that? We can't hear anything out here. I got this. Kasuga, call me on your phone. Okay. I'm very sorry, but we're full right now. Oh, please, can I just use the bathroom? Seriously, man, I'm about to piss myself. Uh, sure. Go ahead. You put in the point behind him, isn't he? Huh. Sorry you had to come all the way out here. What? That actually worked? said money he's got to be her other man hold your horses and see the transaction go down To kill her father. After all this time, don't you want that for him? No, please. I want Dad to have peace. But does it have to be? That's true, but you shouldn't cheap out. After all, don't you see the That's what you're paying us for. I guess a hitman, maybe? Why did she give him money? And it was two million. Nothing to sneeze 18, at. Eighteen thousand United States. You think Nanoha-san's wrapped up in something bad? Like what? I don't know. I just have to ask her and find out. Oh, hey! Ow! Uh, uh, sorry. Man, apologies don't fix much, you know. Yeah, how are you gonna make this right? He's oh, come on. Phone. Come on, not this shit. Sorry, we're in a hurry. 
You don't got time to do the right thing. Get out your wallet and hand us a couple grand. Leave us alone, man. See ya. Not so fast! Are you gonna fight us right now? What is it? What what is that thing? Andre Yak is a color gangs man and a Don Dasher. He has no mana. He's fully healed now. Nice. Oh, he's still a detective. I didn't think he would change. I thought he would change his rank. Our job. Good. Don't oh, forget this. Damn it. Bad time to get interrupted. Where's not not a Han? I don't even know how to say her name. Capsule Hotel. If we did, we wouldn't have anything to report. Go. Hey. We go to him. Want to follow him? Yeah. Yeah, it could be our ticket. Do I have to do a mini game? I think I have to do a mini game. I don't like mini games. inside there. That's unfortunate. That looks like a fancy place. The Social Welfare Corporation? Sounds like an old folks home. Pretty classy building, huh? It's from the Meiji era. Used to be a bank, but I thought some nonprofit foundation bought it decades ago. Sure looks luxurious for a nonprofit. I can smell the money from out here. Okay, so we know Nano has been working at the Soapland to pay for her dad's care, right? Yeah. So maybe this is where he's being taken care of. And also, maybe that man she met at the cafe is employed here. Well, then it would all make sense. She's paying that guy to keep her dad in a nice place. Well, it's hardly shady. I don't care how classy the joint is. Nobody would pay two mil in cash. Plus, why would she pay her dad's rent at a cafe? Yeah, that's a good point. Remember what they said when we eavesdropped? She begged to see her dad, and it didn't move him at all. He just said no.
front desk of Sunlight Castle. Uh, is there a man living here with a daughter named Nanoha? Do you mean Nanoha Mokoda? Yes, her father is a resident here. How may I help you? We work with Nanoha at the same place of business. Can we come in? I'm sorry, but only family are allowed to visit. That was predictable. We're not here to see him, actually. The truth is, I'm looking for a home for my own father. Nanoha san said your facility is great, so I wanted to check it out. I'm terribly sorry. You can't come inside unless accompanied by a current lessee. Really? Yes. If you wish to explore the layouts of our room, please visit our homepage online. Wow. You can submit questions on that page as well. It's very convenient. Goodbye. They don't even let you tour a room? Something's definitely shady about this place. Yeah. A camera. Oh, how roll on girl are we in? Okay. What's the go back to Oh, that's a car. Cars are painful. Alright, I'll meet you guys in a second. Alright, with that fight over, do we get anything good? Yes, a lot of money, no experience, a lot of items, and three more suited decks. Thanks. It makes things a little bit better. And that was fun. I wonder how far away this place is, so I'll see you guys in a second. Another random encounter just for the heck of it. I got a dodgy level up. We got two more things Look to suit decks. No new abilities, but hey, we got full heal. That's all that matters. It's weird to me in this game though, there's two different experience systems. I know in RPGs, well, there are quite a few RPGs that do do that, like, uh, Final Fantasy IV? Maybe thinking of 4 or 5, but I always get this too confused. Of course, you have 7's AP system, but, alright, we're fighting. Alright, I have some grinding to do, apparently. I just got knocked out randomly. Well, crap. Alright, I'm doing a little bit of grinding right now, but right now, he gained a level for 11. Alright, so, what I figured out is I'm still learning this game. Um, so, we're gonna go ahead and go back to the thing, but what I did learn is... I gotta pay attention to the diamond thing, because the higher that is, the harder the enemies are. That's not fun. Please take one. Oh no. Huh? This is another side plot. I tripped the Oh no. Hey, what you got there? Hmm? Who knows? An ad for a sex shop or something. <laughs> Nothing a couple of penniless mooks like us need to worry about. Oh, 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 oh. Hold the phone. It says the first person to call gets free service. What? That sounds way too good to be true. They'll find some way to squeeze money out of you. I guarantee. Yeah, well, uh, we won't know until we call. Take it from the guy born out of soap land. It's a scam. Hey, now, things might have changed while you were locked up. Give it here. Yo, hold on. First person to call. <laughs> you snooze, you lose. Hello, how can I help you? Yeah, hi. I uh, saw your ad. Said something about the first caller being free. Oh, yes! Thank you! You are the very first, so this one is indeed on us. <laughs> all right! And, uh, mm, your insurance won't cost anything? Nope, nothing at all. Now may I please have your name and current location? Uh-uh. Oh, right. It's uh, Koichi Adachi, and right now I'm kind of near Ohama Street. Oh, and that place can be quite dangerous, too. Understood. I'll send over our most popular employee right away. It's a boss fight. Your most popular? <laughs> wow, you guys really go all out for this first free caller thing, huh? We want you to know how great we are. Now then, we have them en route to your location. Huh? Well, you're sending someone to me? Like, not a hotel or something? Wait, is this one of those meetup deals? So, how'd it go? <laughs> Get this. They're sending their most popular girl over here. For free. Whoa, really? No, really, I swear. Sex shops will do anything to stay competitive. 
They said she'd be here soon. Sorry for the wait. Yep. Huh? Oh, what the? Who the heck are you? Are you a uh, Daki Sama? Uh, yeah, that's me. Sorry for the wait. I'm Gary Buster Holmes from Poundmates. Poundmates? Is is that is that shop? <laughs> no, no. Poundmates sends people to help you fight. Wait, what? Help us fight? Hey, you shitheads are making way too much noise. That's it. I'm gonna shut you guys up. Oh, a handy group of punks. Just in time for your first call. Okay, I don't know what's going on here, but let's go, Kasuga. Yeah. Kasuga. I will never remember his name. Come on. Yeah. Pound base. Pound base are powerful allies with water ability that they cost it money. The price depends on the pound base. Although your first call reach pound base is free. Take your best shot. Just witness. Hey, I gained a level. A lot of experience, too. Good HP gain, too. The freak just happened. Holy shit. They're too strong. Now, for the finish. Sudden death or suds on breasts? What's it gonna be? We're sorry! Your free trial is over. Next time will cost money. Looking forward to it. Yeah, sure. Okay then. Goodbye. We're gonna seldom we use this? Because money's expensive? What the hell just happened here? Fuck if I know. Why is it gotta be so hard to get laid? Poundmates, huh? Well, it ain't free, and I'm not sure it's sexy, but I think I can see the appeal. How much I love this game? <laughs> it's a summon. That's what it freaking is, and you can't complain about it. <laughs> Okay. They cost money and they switch to the other side randomly. Wait. Oh, I need to go inside. Duh. You charge 5 million yen just to start a lease? And then it's 500k every month? Even on Soapland wages, how the hell can she afford that? And take a look at this. They've got a program called the Excellent Course. Entry fee 20 million? Then a million a month? What in the actual fuck? Yeah, I hope that's one good VIP room. Mm. Don't tell me her dad's enrolled in the Excellent Course. I can't imagine he is. Oh, <laughs> I could see Nanoha signing him up for the most expensive option. She'd totally do that. Her father is the only family she has. He's the reason she got a job at a big corporation. And he's the reason she works for me now. He raised her all by himself. He means everything to her. It doesn't surprise me at all that she'd pay any price to keep him comfortable. I mean, 
I knew she put him somewhere expensive, but this is just crazy. No matter how much you love someone, you've got to set some boundaries. I'm starting to think this was never about a guy she was dating. You wanted us to investigate her because you were worried about her. Am I right? Yes, I was worried. I worry about all my employees. But once they clock out, I can't help them. And I hate that. Especially the girls who have such troubled pasts. You never know if they're doing okay or not. That's why I'm strict about how much time they take off. I worry. So you have a good reason to keep them working so much. Here I thought you were just a huge asshole. I guess you can stop your investigation now. She might be putting herself in danger, but if she's doing it for her dad, I really have no right to interfere. It's her life. In any case, I don't think she's seeing anyone on the side. No? I mean, when we saw her today, she looked miserable. She was definitely telling you the truth when she said she wasn't feeling good. My guess is she's suffering from a ton of stress. From work? Oh, I think it's something else. I feel like they're killing people there. Nanoha is her father's guarantor. I'm sure of that. It doesn't make any sense that she wouldn't be allowed to see him. And you guys saw her pay two million to a rep from the home? Maybe that wasn't the entire bill. Maybe she still owes them money. And until she pays, they won't let her see her dad. That's fucked up. Yeah, but it might be true. Nationwide, more than one out of every five people is elderly. And there are lots of crooked businesses trying to cash in on that. Even if an establishment looks legit on the surface, you never know what might be lurking underneath. I think I know what happened. They accepted her dad told her she could pay the entry fee in installments. And then once he moved in, they wouldn't let her see him until she paid it off in full. Makes sense. Why pull that shit? Just to get her to pay it off quicker. They don't care what she has to do to earn it. They just want their money as soon as possible. That's just... so cruel. Plenty of bastards in the world who do it without a second thought. No wonder her health is bad. Who could deal with that kind of pressure? And by taking time off, she'll lose income. She'll end up being late on her payments. Damn, at that rate, she'll never get to see her dad. Nope. And there's another thing that could happen that's even worse. What's that? Depending on what the contract says, if she misses a payment, they could kick her dad out and not return any of her money. After she's been working herself to the bone just to pay them? And honestly, who the hell knows if they're really providing good care in that place? Hardly anyone's allowed inside, so there's no oversight. That sounds to me like they can do whatever they damn well please. Even to the residents who have paid up. I don't understand how they get away with this shit. needs to understand it. All that matters is saving Nanoha's dad. Boss, we can't save him. There's no way. Sure, we all want to, but I mean, they won't even let the guy's own daughter in. The place is pretty much on lockdown. I just don't see a way around that. I think I see a way around it. What? Boss, you okay with us working a second job? Uh... Huh? The three of us can work at Sunlight Castle for a bit. You want to infiltrate the place by getting jobs there? How do we get them to hire us? Well, we're sort of buddies with that guy Kambe over at Hello Work. Let's get him to help us. Yes! It's a great idea. I'll call Kanbe and make it happen. What? I think we can do this. We can save Nanoha's father.